Hi, hello. I hope you're doing well. I've been doing much better since my last video. I'm all healed in my face now. In this video, as you probably can tell, we're going to be rearranging and reorganising the studio finally. Just really cluttered. I had too much stuff everywhere that didn't have a home and I really just needed to rejig, reorganise and sort out everything really. Um, and I think I've done a pretty good job at that. So I'm going to share the process with you. Before we get started though, I want to just say a quick thank you to Skillshare, our sponsor for this video. Thank you so much guys. Um, as you know, Skillshare is a community online where you can go to take online classes surrounding creative topics, like pretty much anything you can think of really. This month I'm taking this class by Rich Armstrong. It's all about animation on Procreate, covers all the basics and is super easy to understand. If you're new to animation then I really recommend it. It's a little bit outdated since all the Procreate updates but I still learn a few tips and I just like to watch people work really. If that doesn't sound interesting to you, I will once again recommend a class that I've taken a couple of times. It really helped me with client work when I was getting started. It's called Watch Me Work, Real Client Design Projects by Dylan Maswinski. And they cover like talking with clients and invoices and pricing. It was a huge, huge help to me in the beginning when I was starting out and I had no idea what I was doing. So if you're starting to work with clients or you're starting to take on commissions or something like that, I really recommend this one. If either of those classes suit your fancy, then click the link in my description. A thousand of you who do will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. So you can try it out yourself, maybe take a class or two, see what you think. And that's about it. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring again. I appreciate you as always. And so, the studio. Here are some before shots. I didn't tidy up anything before I shot these, so this is the reality of what it was like. Just a complete unorganised mess. So I thought I had too much stuff. I definitely had too much stuff. I got rid of a couple bits, but to be honest, I mostly just managed to find a home for everything. A lot of the stuff that was in here just was like packing supplies that I hadn't found a place for. I find it really difficult to store product stuff, but I think I've done quite a good job, like I said, this time around. So, did you see that my whiteboard still says November? <laughs> this was for sure the dumping corner. It was real bad. Okay, let's begin. So, I wanted to not just rearrange the room, but organise and clean everything. Oh, that's this is the, the first spider that I found. Um, so, I figured the best thing to do was to just take everything out and clean it all, put it back in a clear space, like a clean canvas, you know, it makes it easier not to keep things like the same as they were before. This corner terrified me. I knew this is where the spiders would be, so I put some of my gloves on. These are the gloves I bought to clean my printer. They come in really useful for a bunch of things, including like dye my hair and stuff. Anyway, definitely recommend gloves if you're cleaning spooky areas, just in case. Here's spider number two. I don't like spiders, but I would never kill one on purpose, so I will always try and remove them. I just don't want them in my space, you know? Anyway, so basically I just clean and tidy and organise for the rest of this video, so I'm just gonna pop back in at the end and do like a semi-in-depth tour of a couple things in case anyone wants to see more of like my packing supplies and product storage, things like that. Um, so I'll see you at the end. Enjoy!
had a little gift come in the mail. How lovely is that? Pretty. It got a little waxed, but that's okay. This is from Leah. If I remember correctly, she also works in Fosca pens. This is so lovely. Here's the first print. Oh my gosh, these are so nice. Ooh. Her work is really colourful and fun. I especially love the street scenes. I need to get some frames for these. And the cutest, tiniest little stickers ever. Definitely check out her Instagram if you're interested. Thank you, Leah. I found this mirror in a furniture place near me. They've recently expanded and I went in there looking for a bed frame but they didn't really have anything. But I found this mirror in there. I got it for two pounds and I think it's so cute. I really like the shape. And I really wanna paint it but I don't really have the time or the resources to do it right now. So I'm just gonna hang it up so we can get the vibe. There's only really two places that I can hang it. I'm thinking above my desk or on the other side of the window but I am unsure of what to put along the wall beside it if I do put it there. This is the part where I decided I needed some temporary artwork to go in my massive frame just until I get around to finding a print to go in there. I came up with this swirly shooting star and I thought it was cute so that's what we went with. My new stickers came and I really wanted to show you guys really quickly in this video since my next one may not be up before I do my next shop update. So here they are. Quite summery themed, I would say. The green palette ones are glossy and the star lady from my painting is a matte sticker. I also got some magnets made up. I was looking online for some magnets and I just couldn't find any cute ones. So I decided to make my own. Here they are. I really like how they came out, they're real cute and they will be available in my next shop update very soon.
super quick tour time. I'm gonna do my best to make this fast. Framed print by Leah Lexon. This is an original that Yumi in Colour sent me. This is a postcard that I cut up from Maze 2 Art. It was a square and now it's not. Shelves, old notebooks and sketchbooks. Art books, old Posca pens, small envelope storage. This basket is from Dunelm. Extra envelopes I keep down here. This is where I keep my birthday present stuff and extra tissue paper and things. Old work from college. These red shelves were thrifted. I don't know where you can get them. This is my cart shelf situation. This is a vegetable basket from the website Studio. The cart, I think, is from eBay, but you can find them everywhere. So really quick, we have my thank you notes, sticky notes my new magnets in the top here, the pens I use when I pack orders and some scissors, my new stickers up in the top here, under there will go my new product, which is delayed. <laughs> in here I just keep the rest of my stickers, the ones that fit. I keep it on the second shelf because when I'm packing orders I can just prop the lid up like that. Third shelf we have ready stamped uh, envelopes in the smallest size, so these are what I use my stickers. These are my B grade stickers, my C grade stickers ready to grab. These are my airmail stickers that have to go on every international order, along with custom slips which I keep there. Paper tape for sealing envelopes for extra security. In here are my freebie stickers that go with originals. This shelf is my pre-stamped medium-sized envelopes, A5 prints and things like that. These are envelopes which I haven't used yet that are not eco envelopes, but I still need to use them. In here are my Inktober originals, 2020 and 2019. And in the bottom, I just have my A4 envelopes. Boyfriend's guitar my guitar, they have to go somewhere. So as you saw, I made this piece specifically to go in this frame because I had nothing else to go in it, so that is that. I just printed it for me and I printed it on nice watercolor paper. A couple canvases I drew a while ago, nowhere else to put them so they're on the wall. This canvas, which I really want to finish, so I'm just leaving it here. Got a couple plants, these drawers don't really have anything in, just some pens. They're mostly empty. These are the bags that my stickers come in, they come in useful tools and stuff. And there's just some important things in there. This is where I keep my camera stuff. This bit's a bit awkward at the moment, it's yet to be completed I think. Here is inside my cupboard. So I keep my prints in these two things here. I'm running out of space now but I've got some stickers in here too. A4 prints. This is where I keep my cut up tissue paper ready to grab. Cello bags, which I need to use because I'm changing the paper. I've ordered them already. These are all uh, envelopes that I need to reuse. Lots of other storage, so my tape and thank you cards, business cards. Alcohol cleaner and stuff, just like stickers from you guys and stickers I bought and stuff like that. So that's where they live. These are my labels for my envelopes, which I found out are recyclable, which is awesome. And I also found out that the tape I use is plastic free, so. Yay. This is where I keep all my paper. This is the paper I use for all of my prints. Cardboard that needs to be used and a couple zines which I found and I'm gonna list. And then the bottom shelf is just like crap. Jigsaws, my old laptop. This is my expenses from this year, my expenses from last year. This is my printer ink in here. My typewriter which was my mum's when she was younger than me. Got some of these order cover plastic things in case the weather's really bad or it's an original I use those on. Halloween decorations, extra labels which I don't use and then all of this is just like old work or more stickers or I think this one is like notes from you, <laughs> from you guys who send me like art and stuff. That's it, looks a bit of a mess but it's way more organised than it was. Moving round, the new mirror, hi! I love it, still gonna paint it, don't know when, but I'll do that at some point. Put some of my darker prints and stuff next to it, I thought they worked well together, so really quick. This is from Lee, this is from Sophie MC Pike, this is from Lisa, damn it, what's her name? Lisa something, I'll put it on the screen. This is also from Lee, this is from, there you go, Tropical Spaghetti, I love, I love their work, I've got a bunch of their stickers. This is Knives Meow postcard and this is from Hydro Art. Moving around, we just have more plants. This is the desk area now. As you saw, I got rid of the other desk, didn't need it, makes so much more space now. I've only got two rugs now, which makes it so much easier to keep on top of the hoovering. Under the desk, guillotines in the back there. This is my mirror I use for dyeing my hair, I have to keep this. <laughs> this is my tissue paper from No Issue. I don't know where else to put it, it has to be flat, so it's just under the desk. And this is a stool that I just keep because it's useful. These are the shelves now, I'm so much more happy with them than I was. 
this section was really tricky because I wanted it to be cute and functional. When I pack orders, I will just raise my desk and then I can incorporate this section into my packing station so I can just grab the thank you cards and the business cards when I need to and the stamps. Oh, there we go. Up here I just have some work from some friends, Knives Meow, Tres Petite Jolie, Leah Lexon, Lisa, Thingy again, I can't remember her name, Heidi Roo, Cheeky Goblin, Knives Meow, Lee, Knives Meow and Hannah Gillingham. Originals by Radia, Patches from Heidi Roo Art 2, this is mine, this is from, I think it's Tropical Spaghetti, that one. I've also got two of Sean's zines up there, Furry Little Peach and my zine, my collaboration that I did with a bunch of other artists and Radia's zine is there. This is the last corner. Still really tricky. This is a really weird shelf. Didn't really know what to do with it. So I've just got some old canvases down there. These canvases live here now. Just got a plant, my piece that I did, my new mirror that my friend bought me. And that's kind of it. The door, which isn't cute, it's just my coat. <laughs> and yeah, this is it. So I'll try and give you a full, like it's really small in here. So I'm here, hello. And then, this is it. So it's pretty, pretty little. Use my feet. But it works. Got all the space I need. <laughs> so that was it. I hope that you enjoyed. I think it's really quite different in here. It feels very different. I much prefer to be in here now. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you like my trolley thing. I thought that was quite clever. I know I lost like a shelf in the process, but if it's everything I need to in it. Anyway, um, I'm going to end the video now. So thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon with a shop update vlog, probably. Uh, yeah, that's coming soon. I had some delays with my products and like everything's just taking a bit longer. I wanted to get the room done first, but it's done now. So shop update will be happening soon. How cute is this blanket that my mum made me? too bad it's so hot today but look at it it's so cute anyway that's the end thank you so much to skill share for sponsoring again and hopefully i'll see you next time take it easy also my cute new cushion done elm <laughs>